Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a different kind of video. Uh, and I'm thinking about doing recent reads videos instead of monthly wrap-ups. I find that my monthly wrap-ups are way too long. They are, take so much time to edit and they're taking four to five hours to upload. I have the slowest internet in the world. My upload speed is two kilobytes, gigabytes, something kg, something. It's super slow. It's dinosaur speed. Okay. So I'm hoping to have this video shortened and I have six books to talk about, which is like half of my wrap up. Well, it's basically a wrap up now because I'm reading six seven eight books a month now because I'm slowing down but and also forgot to talk about a book in my August wrap-up that I read in August so I'm gonna be talking about that one and if I'm still in the same outfit and you see the Alcrate Junior box I just did our Alcrate Junior unboxing that'll be up soon hopefully when I just sit down and edit so the first book I want to talk about is Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. I buddy read this with JT and I do the quotation marks because we started off good. And then I finished at a in a week or two, I forget. I don't know if JT's finished. Uh, she's in her mas she's doing her masters and I am wishing her all the best and yeah so that buddy reads <laughs> me and her our buddy reads are just they're hilarious our first one was so bad we did not like it and it was one of us is lying by Karen and McManus but then I ended up following Loving, uh, two can keep a secret. But yeah, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. If you have not seen the Amazon show, which I have not watched it yet, uh, if you have not read this book, or if you're in the middle of reading this book, do not read uh the episode synopsises synopsis on Amazon. Because it will spoil you. Me and JT were talking about our guesses and our thoughts of what was going to happen. who, Which boy was going to be the Antichrist. And I got spoiled. Big time. So it's about a demon and an angel. They've been on earth for 6,000 years. Or basically since the beginning of time. They were talking about Adam and Eve. It was a mind it was hilarious. The insults were funny as hell. I don't remember them now <laughs> because I read this the beginning of August and it's the middle of September. So I'm going to be watching the show soon with my husband and this clip is four minutes long. See, I'm just rambling. This video is going to be as long. So I ended up giving Good Omens, I think, three, four stars. Also, in my August TBR, I asked y'all to recommend me books, and I got to one. I got I read a full one in August, and then I finished these two, the next two that I'm going to talk about, on September 1st. So, that's why they weren't in my August TBR, or my August wrap-up, but they're in this video now. And it is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. She's got a good first name. Uh, I forget who this was recommended to me, but I think it was Linda or Nikki. If I'm wrong, I'll put your name right here who recommended it to me. I read this with my kids. I'm sorry for the glare. I read this for my kid to my kids for um school and they absolutely loved it. I was just cringing the whole entire time. I was worried that this little girl, she's gonna get caught by the law or her parents were going to get deported for child labor laws. Uh and the owner, Mr. Yao, he was pissing me off to no freaking end. But it's about these um, Chinese family. They're immigrants to America. And 
they first got a job at a Chinese restaurant and she was helping but bus tables and so she messed up she dropped something or she said something like a smart aleck and she got her mom fired and then one day they get this phone call from a Taiwanese business man saying uh do you want to manage my hotel free room and board and stuff like that and so they take it and then they get shitted on along the way but there's these people that live in a hotel called weeklies and they befriend the Chinese family and eventually help them uh, along the way along with uh what's her name I forget her name oh no what Mia uh she helped she does a lot of shady things she uh forges uh legal documents which is I was kind of timid about reading that to my kids and right when I got through reading that part I said don't do that you'll go to jail and it's just uh, I enjoyed it because it was cute and very eye-opening about immigrants who come to this country who think that it's going to be all mansions and money and that they're going to get free stuff and have all this food and stuff and it's not like that at all they're gonna to have to work and we're not as nice as met the movies makes it look Third book I read in August that was recommended to me was the president's daughter by Ellen Emerson White and when this book was recommended to me the author's name sounded really familiar and she wrote some of the the America girls like Samantha America and Whitney I think that's her name something like that like Anastasia with the gilded edges I'll put a picture right here of what I'm talking about but um yeah I used to read those books in intermediate school yeah fifth sixth grade and this one it's about a girl she's into tennis her mom is a US senator and it's this takes place all throughout her mom's campaign to become president and then her mom becomes president and her world is just flipped upside down she is <clears throat> trying to get her brothers to become more close and to help them adjust while she's also adjusting to her new school and all these boys are asking her out to have the uh saying of oh i went out with the president's daughter her and her mom fight all along the way which i connected with because me and my mom when i was growing up we did not have a close relationship we butted heads every day about the stupidest things and <clears throat> funny enough she cursed me when Sammy was a baby. She was like, oh, you and Sammy are going to fight when y'all are older. And I'm, I got three girls. <laughs> and I'm fighting with every one of them. So, uh, that's the, I got three little mini me's running around. And my mom is just sitting back laughing, saying, karma. And so, anyways. Uh, this is the first in a four book series. The second one is White House Autumn. And so, I may pick the second one up, but I did have a problem with the amount of, the t amount of times that the words, I don't know, are used. It's got to be at least... 100 to 150 times that she says I don't know I don't know five to ten times on the same page has to be uh and the shrugs like mm, I don't know I was doing it while I was reading mm, I don't know it was irritating uh if anybody's read the second book 
and that happens if it's the same thing please let me know because I don't want to go through that again but I know she's like 16 a teenager and she, uh, 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 uh. Uh, as a mother getting ready for that with my oldest who's already doing it I was grating on me <laughs> on my nerves a mother should not read this <laughs> especially if you have a teenage daughter or a preteen like I do who knew 10 year olds would start preteen so damn quickly got another blog tour spot for September now in my September reads uh, it is City of Beasts by Corey Wang I think this just came out in stores I'm not sure this is a finished copy uh, but yeah I, this is the first Corey Wang that I read and I love her writing style it is so quick I read this as a PDF which was not as quick but uh, PDFs what can you do so this is about it's a post-apocalyptic future where this nuclear bomb has exploded and males and females have separated. So I think this takes place in New York because uh, it talks about over the bridge and Brooklyn or the Bronx or Queens. I forget and the females are called fees and the females called the males beast um, because most of the population they have uh, nuclear damage uh, radiation poisoning uh, skin damage different colors uh, I want to read the synopsis to you because I don't want to spoil I will spoil this because it was damn good y'all read this it's, it's tough but it's also, the reason I like this so much is because uh, the problem, one thing that's kept the males and females separate is that the males wanted to sign into law a breeder bill because there was a population. There was a birth um, drop. Uh, nobody was having babies. So they wanted to make a breeder bill and then the mayor who was going to sign it into a law got shot. So that's a spoiler, but uh, the females didn't want that. And because they're infertile because all of them is infertile because of the nuclear bomb. Uh, so I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair. It's hot, but it looks good today. Okay. So, I want to read a synopsis. I want to read the first paragraph. Even though I don't like reading synopsis, I'm going to read it to you. So, if you don't want to know what this book's about and you just want to pick it up blindly, mute me until I say, okay. For 17 years, fees have lived separate from beasts. The division of sexes have kept their world peaceful. Glory Rhodes is like most other fees her age. She adores her neighborhood's abandoned Costco, can bench her body weight, and she knew 27 beast counterattack moves by the time she was seven. She has never questioned the separation of sexes or rules that kept her post-nuclear hometown safe. But when her mother secretly gives birth to a baby beast, Glory grows to love the child and can't help wondering what really is the difference between us and them. So, <clears throat> yes, read this. It's got a beautiful cover. It's not... Uh defiant or it won't betray you I swear it's so good I gotta make I gotta make this quick because this video is already too long so I got two more books this one Tunnel of Bones the second book in the Cassidy Blake series The City of Ghost by Victoria Schwab uh if you don't know anything about the series I'm gonna synopsize I'm gonna summarize the first book because I am not giving nothing away in this book Woo! it's up to setting Paris Catacombs there you go uh, the first book, it's about this girl named Cassidy. She can see ghosts and spirits, and she can cross into the other side. Uh, her parents have a paranormal television show where they go to different haunted cities around the world and give ghost facts and historical facts. It's kind of like Ghost Adventures. 
what not ghost adventures where they don't investigate and try to catch spirits voices and stuff like that so uh the first book they go to edinburgh where she finds out what she has to do to move these spirits on and how to do it this talks about a whole different side of the paranormal and it's just so good oh my god it was creepy uh Grim the cat. I have a feeling that he's going to be a major character in the third book, which was just the title was just announced Bridge of Souls. And it takes place in New Orleans. And I have a feeling that Grim, if he doesn't, he's going to play a major part in the fourth book. And we also don't know if Grim can see Jacob, which is Cassidy's best friend who's a ghost. If you have not read City of Ghosts, do so now. And if you have Red City of Ghosts and you are sleeping on Tunnel of Bones, pick this up. It's really good. It's it's not, it don't have the second book syndrome whatsoever. Because it's more spookier than the first one. The one I just got through reading today, uh, it is a graphic novel. It is Charlotte Bronte Before Jane Eyre. This talks, it's like a little illustrated uh, biography of Jane, uh, Charlotte Bronte, I want to keep calling her Jane here, uh, Charlotte Bronte, uh, with her sisters and her brother making up stories and her trying to figure out what she's going to do in life and how she's going to live her life. Is she going to be a governess? Uh, it talks about her learning her writing skills, uh, her being a teacher and teaching English and grammar. Uh, how her sisters died, her mom died, uh, how she was, her dad couldn't give them away to a wealthy man because they didn't have any money to offer the marriage. And <laughs> these women did not like children whatsoever. <laughs> ah. Trying to teach them English, you can just see the eye rolls and the artwork. And also, Charlotte wanted, it seemed like she was trying to have an affair with her Belgian uh, instructor who was teaching her a writing craft. And he was married, and she was just writing him letters over and over, and he never replied. She got ghosted. Also, it talks about, it shows that um, when they wrote their stories, Wuthering Heights, Agnes Gray, and Jane Eyre, they had to submit them under men names to even get recognition, to even get their stories read. Because if they used their real names, it would have been rejected. Like the many, many times their stories were rejected until they changed their names to male names and their stories, Wuthering Heights. Jane Eyre, Agnes Gray, how they're still being read today, but under their actual names. But if they didn't come up with male names, those books would not exist. I didn't know that. I've never read a Bronte book, but I have My Plain Jane by the Lady Janies. And I really want to read Jane Eyre before I read that book. And this just made me want to read Jane Eyre even more. So. And it talks about. Uh, it's got a postscript where it talks about um, Charlotte's life. And how she like became a writer. And it's got panel discussions of every picture. what How it means to the story. And. It's just awesome. I love this graphic novel. I'm give it a five out of five. This is the six I'm holding up five. The six books I've read recently. Uh, let me know if you want to keep if you want me to keep doing the recent reads or you just want me to do one big monthly wrap up. Let me know. Uh, and I'll take that into consideration depending on how long this video is. Uh, but yeah. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Comment down below. Have you read any of these? If you 
have not heard of City of Beast, please go check that out because I need to fangirl with somebody about it. If you love Jane Eyre, highly recommend this. Uh, Tunnel of Bones. Go pick it up. So, yeah. Other than that, I'll see you on my next video.